Welcome everyone to our latest episode of Jim and Java. I'm Jim Dempsey. Well, hello everyone. Thank you for tuning in to Jim and Java. I'm your host, Jim Dempsey, and here once again, uh, our channel exists to help your organization take its funding goals to the next level, increase your income, and see great things happen for your organization. If you aren't currently a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. And if you have questions for this weekly broadcast, you can do so by putting questions out on Twitter at devfstrats and use the hashtag Jim and Java. If you reach, need to reach me via email, please do so at developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com and we'll jump right into our first questions. Our, our first question today is from Dale in Ottumwa, Iowa. And Dale asks, I've heard you say using a matching gift is a game changer. How so? Well, Dale, thank you so much for that question. Um, I'll tell you, I, I really have been um, just a real advocate of matching gifts since 2005. In 2005, those of you who can remember that far back, uh, we had hit a real downturn in our market, especially in the tech market. Stocks had dropped in value. People felt like they their net worth had greatly dropped. And as a result, people didn't seem to have as much money to give to nonprofit organizations. So as we started doing dinners, one of the things that I discovered was that offering a matching gift to people gave them an opportunity to have their money doubled. And essentially in their mind, they felt like even though I can't give as much as I have in the past, my money will be doubled because there's a match. Now again, a match means that you have to go to a handful of people who are closely related, associated, friends of your organization, board members, the critical few that normally bring in um, uh, the 80% uh, of the, it, part of the 20% that bring in 80% of your dollars, uh, you would go to those individuals, you would set a goal, and you would say, as an example, we would like to raise twenty dollars or $50,000 in matching money. Would you consider a gift of $5,000 to be used at our dinner as an incentive to motivate other people to give money. Well, if my goal was $25,000, I could go to five key individuals, get them to give $5,000 and have my match covered. Or if it was $50,000, I could go to five people and ask them to give $10,000 or 10 people to give $5,000, whatever that is. Now, those individuals are instructed that they don't have to give their money before the dinner, um, that in fact, it uh, really works much better if they give after the dinner but that that money can be given anytime over the next 12 months. And uh, as long as they don't give that money before the, the, the event, it's at the event itself, before the match is offered, um, then you're generally covered with most um, governing organizations. And so it's really important that you get that upfront money because that is what will motivate people. So the night of your event, you would say, we've got a handful of partners who've agreed to match every gift of X amount of dollars. Um, I uh, up to whatever your goal was, $25,000, $50,000. Now, for about five to seven years, I actually tried that matching every dollar. And I really found that it didn't really motivate people to give much more. So in other words, it gave people who were going to give $10, $15, dollars a happy feeling that their money would be matched. But it didn't motivate them to give to another level. What the real game changer of the match for me was, was when individuals started saying, Jim, why don't we put a level for people to reach, whether that be a, a, every gift of $600, which would be $50 a month, or every gift of $1,200 uh, or $100 a month would be matched by the matching givers. Once we did that and we had a target for people to shoot for, we made significant increases in our funding as a result of doing that. Whereas individuals who were feeling good about having their 10, 15, 20 dollar doubled, now individuals who normally consider giving a thousand were moved to twelve hundred dollars, or people who normally give five hundred were moved to give to six hundred dollars. Um, it really, really makes a big difference. We as humans tend to be motivated by challenges and having an amount that will move people or push people to another level uh, makes a big difference. And again, if all I'm doing 
is moving the critical few, those 20% that bring in 80% of the dollars, if all I'm doing is moving those people up in their giving, it will make a significant difference. Um, if I move a person from $15 and give them that happy feeling that their gift is going to be matched to 15 that's nice. But if I have someone who is part of that critical few that gives $1,000 normally and they just gave $1,200 to meet that match, I have really significantly increased the giving for that one particular individual. And that's multiplied uh, many times over by that. And oftentimes I see my, my match the conditions of the match met as a result of that. So it is so important that those conditions are met and that, because oftentimes the conditions are that if you don't raise the full $25,000 or in an individual case, if you don't raise my 5,000, then I won't give you, I'll only give you 4,500 or 3,200, whatever you raise. So it's really important that you do that. And so uh, 1,200 might be a little high for your organization. So consider trying 600. But honestly, I continue to move up every year. I've gone from uh, many times from 300 to 600 to 800 to 1,200. Uh, and in some cases, I'm as high as for gifts of $2,500 or more. So it really makes a big difference using that matching gift. And it's very motivating for people. So um, I hope that helped answer your question. And our next question is from Catherine in Chicago. And Catherine asks, when you talk about and giving at a dinner, what do you mean by that? Well, thank you, Catherine, for asking that question. And that is a, it's a very good question. And over 36 years and 2,500 dinners, I've really found that one of the mistakes that nonprofit organizations make is that they oftentimes just ask for single gifts that night. And although that is a nice amount of money, what I find very often is that people are really leaving a lot of money on the table. Just as those of us who have been in fundraising for a while know that people who give out of their current gifts, that's out of their paycheck, their salary versus their assets, we're going to get a lot more money out of their assets than we are from their current income. It's exactly the same way at a dinner. The gifts given that night are very good and very important. But honestly, what we find is that by asking for gifts over time, we get more money from those individuals. In fact, if done properly, the proper balance is generally a fourth of your giving should come from your gifts, come from gifts given that night. And the remaining three quarters of the giving should come over time. Because it is so much easier for someone to be able to write $100 a month checks for $1,200 than it is for someone to sit down and write a $1,000 check that night. So over time, you're going to just naturally get more money. Now, how does that relate to the question that Catherine had, which is and giving? Well, what happens is that generally nonprofit organizations, when they're asking people to give, they're asking them to give tonight or will you give over time? And even though adding the or over time is beneficial and will yield you more money, there's one other option that will yield you a whole lot more money, and that's what I refer to as and giving. Now, and giving is giving a gift tonight and over the next 12 months. And what I do is I always feel like people need to get an example of an and gift. So I'll say, we would like for you to consider a gift tonight of cash, check, or credit card, and we would like to have you consider a gift over the next 12 months. That could be quarterly, that could be annually, or that could be monthly. Now, let me give you an example of an and gift. Let's say that you were thinking about giving $2,500 after hearing some of the options mentioned at the dinner tonight. You could put $100 on the tonight line and then come to the section that gives you an opportunity to give a monthly gift and you could give $200 a month. Those two, the tonight and the monthly, totaled up will come to $2,500. So I always give people an and option on their response device because the tonight is good, the overtime is better, the option of or is very good, 
but the exceptional and what will take your dinner to the next level is what I refer to as and giving, where people give tonight and they give over time. And so when you hear me mention and giving from people, especially as it relates to events and dinners with donors, that's what I'm referring to when I talk about the and giving. And I would try it and test it. Number one, if you've never asked people to give over time, add that to it. I can't tell you how I've seen organizations grow as a result of adding giving over time. Secondly, make sure that you're adding monthly giving as an option for people. But third, if you can add that and option where people are, are giving tonight and over time, then you have really, really struck a great chord and got the brass ring with people. So that's what I would recommend from that standpoint. So I hope, Catherine, that helped you with your question. And um, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for joining us for this latest broadcast. Once again, if you liked what you heard and are interested in joining a group of individuals who are committed to seeing their nonprofit organization get to the next level from a funding standpoint, especially subscribe to this channel, submit your questions at devfstrats on Twitter and use the hashtag Jim and Java or email developmenteffectivenessm at gmail.com and also share this video with friends or colleagues. And so as I always say, we are here to help you increase income and reach the goal of becoming fully funded. Thank you.